Do you like the size of your pennies? Do you want your pennies to become bigger naturally? You don't want your penny size to reduce. Then you would like to watch this video. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new on this channel, my name is Blessing and on this channel, I film content relating to nursing and my lifestyle. If this is something you would like to watch, then you might consider to subscribe because on this channel, we have a good time. And to my returning subscribers, see you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. So guys, before we get into today's video, please like this video because when you like this video it tells the algorithm that you value this content and it will make the algorithm to push it further for other viewers to see thank you for doing so so let's get into today's video like i said we're going to be talking about erectile dysfunction penis size and other things related to penis three things are very very important when it comes to healthy erection one of it is healthy muscle second of it is healthy artery third is healthy nerves so these three things are very very important when there is something wrong with the muscle the nerves and the artery that is when you result into erectile dysfunction i've said that there are other conditions there are other things that might be related to erectile dysfunction the first one i'll be talking about today is weight when it comes to weight you need to watch your bmi that is your body max index as well especially the abdominal weight if you have big abdomen this will retract or will make the penis to be drawn inward and it will look smaller to you because of what the abdomen is the one covering it so in order to make it look bigger or to make it be bigger you need to lose weight especially in those area which is the abdomen the second thing that i'll be talking about is medication so there are some medication that the side effects can make you to have erectile dysfunction such as finasteride there are some other medication that what it does is that it reduces the blood flow to the penis and remember what i said at first that anything that can alter the normal delivery of blood to the penis will definitely cause erectile dysfunction because before a penis can be erect there is need for a rush of blood into the penis i said earlier on that anything that can affect the blood flow to the penis can affect the erection when it comes to reduction of flow of blood when this happens it affects the length it affects the strength and it also affects the size of the penis so there are some medication that when you take it it reduces the flow of blood to the penis medications such as antipsychotic and antidepressant so some of these medication affect the flow of blood to the penis which makes the erection to be altered the next one that i'll be talking about is aging note aging is inevitable every one of us will definitely age someday as people age other parts of their body age as well and become weakened so with age the muscles the erectile muscles are weakened also there are some conditions that can lead to erectile dysfunction conditions like atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is where there is deposition of fat so when there is deposition of fat what does it do it block the supply of blood to a particular place where it is being located yes that is just one of those things that affect blood flow to the penis when it comes to age another point is smoking yes smoking can affect your erectile function there was a study that was carried out by bju international in the year 2017 and it was found that smoking is linked to erectile dysfunction remember what i said that anything that can affect the flow of blood to the penis that is the increased supply of blood to the penis it cannot make it to increase in size it cannot make it to maintain a steady or a healthy strength so with smoking 
it has been found in that study that some chemicals that you can get from smoking cigarettes that is going to affect the blood vessels in the penis affecting it in the sense that it injures it and when this happens there is reduced or no supply of blood to the penis when there is no supply of blood there's no way the penis can erect maintain a good strength or even increase in size so these are the things that you need to consider so if you are a smoker this should be a good sign for you to quit and there are some program smoke cessation program that is in place in some hospitals you can check online if you think it is difficult for you to quit you can go for this smoke cessation program and then get help so the next point that i'll be talking about is prostate surgery note before i talk about this this video is not advising you or it's not telling you not to get your prostate surgery done if you have been assessed by your doctor and you have been advised to get a prostate surgery done please get your surgery done do not base your diagnosis or rejection of healthcare because of this video the prostate gland can be cancerous and when it is cancerous they often advise that it is being removed through surgery known as prostatectomy so the cause of this shrinkage of this penis uh, shrinkage that is the reduction of this size the cause of it after this prostate surgery is not yet understand however there is a study that has said that about 60 percent of people has recovered the length of their penis back after 12 months of recovery so this is the relationship between prostate surgery and the size of the penis i'll be giving you some simple tips on how to maintain a good penis size or on how to increase the size of your penis so the first thing i'm going to talk about is lifestyle yes lifestyle let me tell you something a healthy heart is a healthy penis because your heart pumps blood that is the source of blood and if the heart, there's something wrong with the heart definitely there's something that is definitely going to be wrong with the penis so lifestyle when it comes to lifestyle we already know that walking and cycling is a good exercise for the heart yes if you don't know i'm telling you now walking and cycling is a good exercise for the heart so you need to keep up with a good lifestyle so some people will be like oh there are some medication there viagra and all of that let me tell you according to sexual health medicine it has been found that some aerobic activities like cycling like walking has been more effective has been found effective if not more than viagra so the same effect you are getting from viagra whereby you have to deal with the side effects such as headache such as body sensation and some other conditions are um, rapid heart rate and all of that with some aerobic activities like walking you can achieve the same goal in a nutshell i will encourage you to maintain a good healthy lifestyle a good dietary intake exercise and also to have good sleep if you want to maintain a good sexual health a good erectile health okay thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't liked this video don't forget to like this video and if you haven't subscribed this will be a good time for you to subscribe just click on the red button down there that says subscribe so you get notified whenever i post a new video guys it is free you sub your subscription is free you don't have to pay so yeah see you guys in my next video bye bye